guys in the fast lane here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to recalibrate your gauge cluster. This pretty much applies to any vehicle, but in this specific vehicle, it's going to be a 92 to 2000 Honda Civic. This one's actually a 98, so it'd be in the category of a 96 to 2000. As you can see, the fuel gauge, the needle is quite a bit up. It's a little bit, almost about a quarter tank. This procedure to calibrate this is the same for the temperature needle the mile per hour needle and also the RPM needle. What we need for this job is a flathead screwdriver and we're going to go ahead and push down right here on each of these clips as you can see all at the same time. So we got three here and then on the top side we have another four. We have one here, here, here and here. So I'm going to go ahead and push down on these three slowly lift up and then push down on these four and slowly lift up and we should be able to pull the whole face off. Now that you got the front cover off, you can go ahead and clean the inside. I would suggest not touching it with your oily fingers because that will stay on the face of the gauges you'll be able to see it later so try not to touch it with your fingers. Now I'm just going to go ahead and install this cluster that's in my vehicle so I can test out this other cluster and get it recalibrated. If you need to see this done on another vehicle just check out my other video where I'm redoing the gauge cluster. It's a gauge cluster replacement. Check out that video. Okay, so now what we gotta do is go ahead and turn the ignition key on. So you're gonna turn it right before you start it. And you'll see the lights come on and everything. Once you turn the headlights on. And we're gonna come over here and we're gonna gently not touch the backing. We're just gonna pull down on this until we get to the E. Right where it's uh, zeroed out. So just kinda look at it at an angle, make sure it's zero now we're gonna turn the car back off again see where it goes all right looks like it's staying there turn the key on again nothing's happening as you can see it's staying right where it needs to be I don't have any gas in this vehicle so I already know it's on E but let's get it closer and see if it moves at all Key on, nothing. Key off, nothing. There we go. So, yep, that's how you do it. Just go ahead and turn the key on, see where it's at, turn it off, move it. Turn it back on and double check it and that's where it needs to be. 